finally the day of the last puzzle arrived akbar was nervous and at the same time impressed with birbal's intellect this time he decided to test birbal's intelligence by giving him a paper round in shape when birbal came to answer his final question he gave him that paper and asked him to give answers to all his questions today by using this paper birbal agreed quickly let's see what the last puzzle is puzzle 4 circle through paper folding akbar asked birbal how will you create the diameter of a circle through this paper birbal started folding the paper like this and explained that the diameter is the length of the line through the center that touches two points on the edge of the circle here the line ab is the diameter of a circle then what about the center of a circle asked akbar birbal smiled and said the center of a circle is the point inside a circle that is the same distance from each point on the circle if i fold two mutually perpendicular diameters a b and c d like this the point q is the center of a circle but what is the distance between the center and a point on the circle called asked birbal the distance is called radius said birbal akbar decided to ask a tougher question this time he asked birbal what if i ask you to create equal chords and equal arcs in the same circle by folding two diameters birbal started locating the center o of the circle he then folds the circle along a diameter ad from some point c he folds semicircle along with co this will form two radii co and bo how does chord ac compare with chord ab asked akbar birbal started folding the lines through o perpendicular to ac and ab he then compared ae with ec and af with fb and what about a diameter perpendicular to a chord asked akbar let me show you birbal said he folds a chord ab and then folds a diameter cd perpendicular to this chord if i compare the segments ae and eb of the given chord how will you prove that they are congruent asked akbar in this circle if i fold the paper through point e we will find the segments ae and eb are equidistant from the center in the same circle or congruent circles two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the center explained birbal diameter perpendicular to a chord seems simple how will you show a radius that bisects the angle between two radii asked akbar birbal explained this by folding two radii ao and bo using the paper then he folds the chord ab as shown again he folds the bisector oc of the angle between the radii ao and bo proving that angle aoc is equal to angle boc again akbar asked birbal how will you show arcs of a circle intercepted by parallel lines through this paper 
Birbal thought a little bit here and started folding a diameter AB of the given circle. He then folds two chords each perpendicular to AB like this. And what is the angle inscribed in a semicircle? asked Akbar. The angle inscribed in a semicircle is always a right angle, that is 90 degrees. If I fold a diameter AC, then fold a chord AB and extend it like this, and similarly fold CB and extend it, the inscribed angle ABC will always remain 90 degrees, explained Birbal. Akbar was impressed, but wanted to test Birbal's intelligence one last time. He asked Birbal, If I give you a point on a circle, how will you show a tangent? Birbal started folding the diameter of the given circle passing through the given point P on the circle. At P, he folds the line perpendicular to the diameter. Is a tangent always perpendicular to the diameter? asked Akbar. A tangent line is always perpendicular to the circle's radius at the point of intersection. Birbal answered all the questions correctly and Akbar is happy to appoint him as his problem solver minister in his kingdom. He not only appointed him as a minister, but also gave him precious jewels as reward. <laughs>